This tutorial will teach you the concept of labels in our new mail system. Think of labels having two functions. First of all, when you think of label, hopefully you think of a, a tag or literally a label. The second way a label can be used in our new system is as a folder. So let's look at those two ways that we can use this. If I want to take a message that I've received and I want to mark it somehow so that I know it belongs in a specific category, I can use what's called labels. Let's take my first message in my mailbox. This is from Rhonda and she's sending me a message about Google Migration. So I might want to label that Google Migration. I select my message, go up to my labels, and choose Google Migration. Notice this message now has a tab or a label on it that indicates it's part of a series of information about Google Migration. If you label something on accident, simply select it, come back to your label, and select that label again. That will just turn it off. The second way you can use labels is as folders. If you don't want to keep your messages in your inbox, but you actually want to move them into one of these labels and treat that label as a folder, it's quite easy to do. So let's take that same message from Rhonda about Google Migration. This time, I'm going to grab the message and I'm going to drag it to Google Migration. And Google Migration becomes highlighted. I let go. Notice that message is pulled out of my inbox and I'll click on Google Migration. It's now in that label, which acts as a folder. So in our new mail system, we have a tool called labels, and we can use them in two ways. One, to simply label our messages, but two, to use these as folders. One quick note, you can have sub-labels. So you can have a label inside a label, just like you could with folders.